How do you feel about an opportunity to take this team to the NCAA tournament? This could be a golden opportunity. Yeah, it definitely could. Um, we have the potential to, and we just need to reach that potential this um, upcoming tournament and take it all the way to the championship and win it. Take a look at your career. It's been a wonderful career for you. I've gotten that question a lot lately, <laughs> and I haven't, um, I haven't been able to answer that. Um, I, I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna be getting myself into. I just knew that when I was coming here, that I had the opportunity to play and at least get some minutes on the floor. And little did I know that I would, you know, be a four year starter. Um, all these years later, so um, it's been an incredible opportunity and just being able to live out a dream that, you know, I had since I was pretty close. It's kind of interesting, just seeing your character after two horrible injuries that you had. How did you mentally get away from it and focus on really getting yourself ready um, When I did tear my ACL and I I was coming back. I, I did have a lot of um, trouble um, just not thinking about the injury and had a, um, you know, I saw a sports psychologist and talk to him about it and um, one day it just kind of hit me like, so what, you know, like I'm grateful to be back on the court and I've kind of just used that as, um, as kind of a little bit of motivation, I guess, um, the past couple of years and I try not to think about anything like that because I know that you know, God has a plan for everyone and I'm grateful that, you know, I did actually get hurt because it kind of allowed me to um, fix my shot, um, get a chance to have a year paid of master school. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm just really, really blessed. What are you going to be when you're going to be a Um, I have a degree in accounting, so um, that's what I plan to do. Um, but you never know what to go from here. Um, maybe an opportunity to coach later on in life. Um, I'm just not sure yet, but um, possibly play overseas after this, so we'll see. Speaking of coaching, it's really interesting. I've seen you talk to your players and rah rah and be their cheerleader. Did you expect to be so loud, per se, in helping this team and winning? Uh, no, I'm just a really, I'm a really, I guess, laid back, shy person, um, in a sense. So, Past few years, I've tried to be more vocal. Um, then I'm not. I'm not one to like scream at you um, during practice or anything like that. But I'm gonna pull you aside and tell you, you know, what you probably should have done and what you could probably do for the next time. Talking about how your family's just been such a great force. Um, take me through how your father supports you through, especially the injuries that you've had. Um, I mean, my my mom and my dad were both um, big supporters and. My mom was the one that was taking care of me as I was probably not the nicest person when I was uh, injured, um, just being in pain. Um, and then my, my dad, you know, he's always one that is always talking to me after a game, telling me what I could do, what I couldn't, um, didn't, I should have done, all that stuff. Um, so he's, he's, he's been always one that likes to talk and kind of just show me what I could have done. And my mom's always been the one that's been very encouraging and saying, you know, good job. Even if I felt like I did it, they always tell me that I did you talked a little bit about being a little shy per se, but I've seen you grow from being such more of a leader on this team. Did you expect that? I wanted that, and I wanted to become more of a leader, and I know I'm a leader by example, but I wanted to be more of a leader. And I don't say, I, I, I could say that I didn't, you know, maybe fully reach it, but um, I mean, if others can see it, then, you know, obviously it, it's going to be an improvement there. <laughs> Talk about some teams that you're going to be possibly facing. Cleveland State, an interesting uh, four guard style team. You guys match up pretty well. Um, I think you know they they came out last game. And they they, they are, beat us really good. Um, so I think that kind of gives us some motivation and, um, to to play harder and play as much as uh, as good as basketball as we can. Um, they're they're a good team sense that they have really a guard oriented type of team and they can shoot threes and they can also drive and um, so we have to be really aware of that and um, have really good help side and jump to the ball. Did you think the type of loss that is considered a big loss per se? Did you 
really got film on this team and figure out we're gonna meet you. Yeah, I think at the time it's bad box. It's, it's you know it's kind of embarrassing, but um, you look back on it and you think, all right, maybe it was a good loss. Um, maybe that's you know what we needed to refocus and um, know that every team is gonna play us as hard as they can. You get through this tournament. You got some teams that you you know again, your coach is such a great influence. Tommy Hal Bernard is basically really. Such a great star. He's he's someone that um, you want to do better, but he's not gonna you know kind of like bring you down. Um, he's always gonna be there to say like that wasn't the right shot, but you have the next shot, you know. Like so, he's that person that's gonna try to um, tell you what you did, and then he's gonna lift you back up and tell you like you're the you know you're the best player in the league, or you can you can shoot that all day long, you can make that all day long. So he's always gonna be encouraging. Looking now at the afterlife of the basketball for you. Are you kind of satisfied where you're at right now? Um, you've counted the blessings of a great family background. What is the next uh, step for you? It's to be determined. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always one that's like, I have this plan or I have this plan. Um, so, I mean, I could go out into the real world and get a job or um, if the opportunity presents itself. I but um, I'm just kind of up in the air and I'm looking forward to the summer to just kind of just relax in a sense and kind of have that um, actual summer vacation since I haven't had one in about five years. So um, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and last question, is this team a mean team? The reason why I say this, is this team with the swagger and have you seen this before in your career in Detroit or something? Let's say my freshman year, kind of have a little bit of swag, um, we kind of lost it the um, past couple of years, but I would say this year we, we're starting to get that Detroit swag back, and um, it's, it's kind of exciting, I'm, I'm sad that I'm leaving when it's coming back, but um, I think next year we'll have you know, we'll be the same gritty team, um, and yeah, I think it's, it's shown that we're kind of a little, a little meaner out there, you know, if we swag, you know, block your shot, like, we're gonna, you know, let you know that we blocked it. <laughs> so, it's, I think with the addition of, like, Kelsey and stuff, too, that's been, like, a really good addition for us, because she kind of brings that swag. <laughs>